The way an amateur and a master use balance in graphic design is drastically different, and we're either going to look at how a master designer totally breaks the principle of balance on purpose. Well, I sound like such a geek, but yeah, I love graphic design. We all probably know about symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. And so today we're not gonna touch on that overdone subject. But first let's get touchy feely with some textures. When considering balance, the amateur designer will rarely ever think about using texture to balance a design or the viewing experience. But a master designer, or shall I say an evolved designer, would know how to use this technique to really push the design message. As you can see right here. Adding texture to your designs can actually add a depth to the composition. It creates two or multiple dimensions to the design feel. But here's the important factor. The texture should be relevant to the message. And in this instance here, the texture is the rough surface of the road or the metallic drain cover. And this of course relates back to the message of the design itself, that being cycling and New York City. And then if we see on this website, at the very top, the designer could have just used a bold background behind the typography. But instead, what they've done is they've used the ocean as a texture. And this sets the mood at the very top of the design and it gives more meaning to the design. And this texture, it's balanced really well with bold white typography. And if we scroll down some more on this website, we come to a lovely section of a close-up image of a jellyfish. And this shows us some really high quality, high textured detail of the texture fish. Then that is actually balanced again with the bold flat graphic elements seen in the bottom left of this part of the design. By using textures alongside contrasting elements, you can make balance and a cohesive design, but also one that is visually appealing. It's not always gonna be needed, of course, but it can add extra layers and depths to a design if the balance is well thought out though, of course. So the next technique that amateur designers don't tend to know about in regard to balance actually requires we get a bit artsy. If you see this design here, you might think the design is balanced left to right with the purple area being on one side and the other elements on the right. Yeah, that's true to some extent, but there's something else actually going on here. The objects on the right make up something called mosaic balance. Now this is a technique in graphic design that uses a collection of small individual elements to create a larger composition. These elements can be shapes, they can be images, typography, or just any other design element that you want to use. It's just a really clever way of arranging objects that creates a sense of intrigue and interest in the viewer, and then it draws their attention to the design. The designer can choose to spread this balance across an entire design, or they can make use of white space and create a section exclusively geared towards mosaic balance, as you can see here. When actually using a mosaic balance, it requires the designer to thoughtfully place objects in a certain way that is both visually appealing, but also functional. There's no point in just randomly scattering things around your design and just hoping for the best. No, that's not gonna work. Now here's a really handy, but a quick tip for balancing text on your designs. For informative designs where you have a title, a subtitle and a body text, it might be tricky to decide on sizing and balancing that text. Then this is the handy rule that I often use. Choose your heading size. And so for this one here, let's run with a typeface of Elron and a size 20. The subheading should be around half of that. So let's go with 50. And then the body text should be a third of the heading. So let's say 33 to 35. And I do feel like this rule works really well in a lot of different situations. But of course, on designs where there's going to be huge text or large text, this rule just goes completely out the window. Use the rule when you're working on more informative designs or areas that do have information and then break that rule according to your brief and your creativity. A master or a seasoned designer, they, they know all about the balance rules but they also have learned how to break the rules and also when. And let's take a quick peek at how that might actually look in real life. This coordinate balance is a technique in graphic design where the balance is intentionally disrupted or uneven to create visual interest. The main approach for creating this kind of balance or disbalance, if you will, is to consider placing elements off center, maybe overlapping objects or elements possibly sometimes positioned at odd angles as well. Basically, you're just setting out to purposely break the harmonic balance on a design. An amateur can do this by mistake, but it would often just simply look like a mistake. 
A master or a seasoned designer can do it intentionally and in a way to draw attention to a certain area on the design, or manage to convey a message with disruption of balance and principles and actually put it off so the end result doesn't look like a quickly thrown together design. In modern graphic design and with modern designers, more and more people are breaking the rules on purpose with each passing year. And nowadays there are many typefaces that come with styles that break rules of balance. As an example you can see here with the typeface scanner. And as you can see looking across the line of text we have different weights across a single line of text. And when it comes to balance there are more conventional rules that I've spoken about in previous videos. But so far today you've learned about some lesser known techniques with balance. Once you've actually mastered balance you can then start to break the rules purposely, have fun with it and make really effective designs. And to learn more about the wonderful principle of balance just click the video on screen and until next time guys, design your future today.